they are not meant to be in League One, really, are they? You know, they're expected to be at least in the Championship. Kenny Jackett was brought in. He was, you know, he's he's done he's done well previously at Millwall and Wolves. Big expectations, but it it just hasn't quite happened. There's going to be many reasons and many things to analyse here. But what first of all, what sort of boss is Kenny Jackett? Well, it's interesting in the sense, you know, having just spoken about Chris Hewton, that he's actually very similar, but falls on the other side of he's more, he's less of a people person, more of an actual, you know, procedure. This is how we do the job. He's more about the job than the people. Mm -hmm. Um, And, but like Hewton, he's very much about his experience. And the more experience he's got, the more he can call upon and the more confident he gets in what he's doing. I think the problem he's got at Portsmouth is, you know, about cycles. I think he's, he's, this is beginning to get stale now. And I think he's had opportunities in the past to really push that team for promotion. And it's been noticeable that, you know, they've not made any, done any business in the transfer market hardly this summer. And he's going with the same bunch of players, basically, that have failed in two playoff campaigns, you know, that have, have missed out on promotion twice have suffered the disappointment and the setbacks of losing in a, in a playoff semi-final. And now he's trying, with not being a people person, trying to revive those players to perform to their level. And I just think he's possibly, he's, he's missed the boat a little bit, I think. And it's interesting because in his very first season, they had an opportunity to get into the playoffs, it seemed like. I think they finished about eighth in the table. But he didn't seem to crack the whip towards the end of that season, like it was too early for him. And it just feels like it's been a catalogue of mishaps ever since that, that things just keep getting in the way. And I don't think you can necessarily just choose when it comes along for you. I think, you know, and I think, unlike Kenny Jacket in previous jobs, they've been very highly distracted by cup competitions as well. They've been playing on so many different fronts, you know, they've been getting to the I mean, last season they got to the EFL Trophy final for the second year running and then didn't even get to play it because it was cancelled. And, you know, they, they, they've they been competing on all fronts because they've got such a depth of squad, which I think has possibly diluted their idea, you know, it's diluted the purpose of... The, the only thing that should matter to Portsmouth is getting back to the Championship. And I think he's rotated it too much, potentially. And, you know, there's been murmurings last season of discontent behind the scenes, certain players, you know, it, there was a great chapter about Kenny Jacket in Living on the Volcano about, him, you know, the bomb squad at Wolves where he bombed out three or four players who didn't train with the first team. You know, we can be ruthless, Jacket, in that respect. And once you are seen to not being professional enough or not, you know, measuring up to his standards, then he, he can bomb you out quite quickly and it can send reverberations around the dressing room and when you're three years down the line and that's happening, it's all right when you go into a job and you're making a statement like you did at Wolves at the beginning, but when you're in your third season and you're suddenly bombing players out, you wonder if some players are thinking, am I next, you know, or, or and, you know, the, he's, yeah, I just, I just feel like he's probably, he's, it just seems like the things that are his strengths at the beginning and now starting to turn against him. And I think this is why it's so hard for any manager to see beyond a cycle of three to four years and keep going and, keep, and show the best of yourself further down the line. You look at Jacket's previous jobs at Swansea, at Millwall, at Wolves, first and second seasons, second seasons particularly have probably been his best season. Uh, we're four years down the line now, you know, it's his fourth season at Pompey. 